Hi everyone and all you maniacs out there, welcome back to today's FIFA Fix, episode 19 of this season, Hartlepool versus Watford and Mal playing it. Here we go, this is what we've got to do in the next up and coming games. As you can see we've got Watford away, Reading at home, Blackburn away, Wigan at home. Well, let's see what we can do. We come off the last place, game where Watford, we won one nil against Middlesbrough, place, and it was a United. brilliant goal by uh, Mal, who ran down the length of the pitch and scored. Well, if he can get the win today, let's hope he can score again it's the same as he did the last game. Because if he can get the win today away at Watford, who are playing in the yellow and Hartlepool are playing in the blue and white stripes, we can jump up to fifth in this league. Currently, we are ninth. Let's see what Should we can do. have a fine game for you today. Welcome to it. We're Martin at Ivy Tyler Lane. Here, along with Alan Smith. All the players are already what out on the field. Today, They're lined Hartley up. And, uh, well, it's very United. quiet. Anyway, well if you've moment. seen They're my videos well before, you will know how they are going to go. I will uh, well. they, they be commentating the for the Hartlepool players. I don't know who the Watford players are as I don't actually learn the whole Football League or the names of every single player within the Football League. There are a few that pop up who I've probably heard of and know of from previously. But... You know, I don't know who the, a majority of them are, so I will refer to them as Watford player, Watford striker, Watford midfielder. I will try and commentate on the Hartlepool team as normal, which I, I do try to do on all of my videos. So uh, if you've seen them before, up. you'll know how, how it's going to go. Anyway, here's the starting well. 11 for uh, Hartlepool. Not really many changes since the last game. We've got Halston in goal with Duck with Nerny Bates and Holden at the back. Emma Walker, Woods and Compton in the middle. And up front, we've got Alessandra and Ross again. Ross, who fell over and he seemed to be injured at the end of the last game. All it was was a dead leg and he's therefore back for this game. Lee, though, on the other hand, we need to rest him because his knee's still playing up from the foul that happened to him two games ago. Anyway, here we go. We've started off. Hartlepool uh, kicking from right to left. No, no, the and uh, with the ball. That's it looks attack. like they were on the attack there really well. M. Mao tries to keep the ball in, though. Because, um, well, the player tried to get the shot off. I didn't see who it was who had the ball. But he tried to get the shot off. He didn't manage to do so. And it ricocheted off the defender and got cleared up the pitch. The anyway, the they're there. trying to get the ball forward again. It's coming towards M. Mao. He jumps for the ball with the other midfielder and manages to get the better of him. And now he plays the ball through to Walker. Walker trying to get past the midfielders for Watford doesn't manage to do so. And now Watford are on the attack. They are in the open. He's got two people with him. Will he be able to get a crossover? No, it's a brilliant tackle there. And he gets it away. And now Compton running with the ball up the other end of the pitch. Walker knocks a ball through to Alessandra. Alessandra takes it past the one. He tries to go, but he's getting his shirt pulled. The referee waves play on. The manager screaming at the referee that that should have been a free kick there. Right on Absolutely the edge of the no area. The a long range here. lob attempt though from, from Hartlepool. Doesn't trouble the keeper at all. And well, it was it's a goal kick. The ball's kicked back up. They're getting on with this really quick. No messing around, no rest for the wicked, as they say. And now it's Nerny. Plays a lovely through ball towards Ross. Gets his shirt pulled once more, though, by the defender. And is unable to get onto the end of the ball. They played a ball forward there from the goal kick. And once again, it's uh, Watford who are in charge. Watford gets tackled and now it's Alessandra on the edge of the area. Is he going to be able to unleash a shot? He has a go. It ricochets off the defender. And now Watford once again go on the attack. This is end-to-end -end stuff. The referee watches that foul happen and just blows for a free kick. Hopefully that's gone towards Hartlepool. But as you can see, the next game for Watford is against Brighton and Hove Albion. 
Yeah, I've had a lot of and, supporters. And uh, well, the free kick didn't go to uh, oh, Hartlepool, well. considering their player was the one who got chopped down. It's gone to Watford. God knows what this referee was smoking before the game started. Anyway, the ball kicked forward. Holding clears it only as far as the striker at the edge of the area. And it's a real panicky clearance here. That was a really bad clearance. It went to the uh, Watford player. Didn't manage to get the cross over. But Compton gets the ball and plays it out of the defence. It's now with her mouth on the far side of the pitch. Birmingham City, as you can see, beating league leaders Norwich City 1-0. That is a good result for us if it can stay that way. Emmau tries to get a shot at goal, doesn't manage to do so. It gets cleared by the defender for Watford. And uh, the referee's blow for a free kick. As you can see, the next game that we are going to be having is against Reading at home at uh, the Hartlepool ground. Hopefully, we'll be able to pick up another win there. We'll see. Anyway, now the ball's being played forward by Watford. They are once again going on the attack. They've got plenty of people coming forward with them when they do attack. The, uh, the Hartlepool players still trying to get past this five at the back. This is a real weird system that they're playing, the Watford players are. I haven't really seen this formation been played against me quite often so uh, we'll have to see how we go with it it's really hard to seem to get behind the back players but here's Alessandro he's managed to do he has a shot at goal saved by the keeper and cleared away by the defender only as far as then Murray gets the sliding tackle in jumps the tackle though and now he's going up the wing with the ball he doesn't get past Walker though no messing from here slides in clatters the player takes the ball out of play for a throw in they throw the ball in and now it's Watford on the attack 40 minutes played still nil nil as you can see Bolton drawing with Cardiff 1-1 in their game Ball played across well, there by Nerny. Bit of a weird ball that was. Uh, sorry, not by Nerny, by Walker. Bit of a weird ball. Paradise. Didn't really play it towards anybody. A bit of miscommunication. Anyway, it's Quite Watford with the ball. To They're trying to possession. get to the edge of the penalty area. Wood sticks his leg out, but the ball carries on going forwards. And now it's Watford plays it across the front to goal. The player goes down. The referee looks. He doesn't give a penalty. The Watford players are not happy now with the uh, decision. This referee, I don't know what is going on with him, but Watford are once again on the attack and he headers it towards goal and it just goes over the bar just as the referee blows up for the end of this first half. What a game so far. This is so good. End to end stuff. Who is going to be able to score the first goal? Because I can't see this staying as nil nil at the moment. They are both really going out of their way to cause problems for each opposition. We're not going to show all of the highlights now. We'll show them at the end of the match. There's the scores if you want to see them rewind it and pause it. Otherwise, away we go with this second half. Here's Lee now coming on to have a stretch of his legs and see if he can manage to get through this second half without um, causing his injury any more problems. Ross has gone Ronnie's off to whistle. make way for and Lee, so for here we go. Half. It hardly pulled kick off and Lee with the ball plays, switches play across the field towards Compton. Compton to knocks it forward to Holden. Holden going on a run, gets to the edge of the penalty area but gets tackled and now he is struggling Beanie. to get back into his defensive yeah, role. They've got well, Watford are on the attack. They've got two or three back with them. Hartlepool have got me with all of their men back behind the ball, stopping them from getting through. That was a bit of a weird situation there. Nerny tries to play the ball up. Emmau shows that he's not happy with that pass. And, uh, well, Nerny, with a bit of a miscommunication, just goes back, walking back to his uh, defensive duties. Emmau not very happy with that at all. He's trying the back anyway, again, the ball worked. played through towards Woods. Woods loses it. It's, it's Walker. He loses the ball as well. And now it's Watford once again on the Dini. attack. A lovely ball through there. Tries to play it into the centre. You can see the passing st stats for uh, Watford for Walker. day. They've got like 93% of the passing accuracy. Really, really well played feet. by them so far. Anyway, it's Woods with the ball tries to get past the midfielder referee waves play on 
uh, Walker gets pulled down there. The referee there once again weighs play on. The managers are going absolutely Feeney. crazy at this referee. It's as if he can't see past the end of his nose. It's really shocking some of the decisions that he's allowing to get like to go here. And a ball Woods. crossed over there we'll by Watford the into the place. penalty area. Nobody on the, the end of it. And as you can see, the possession stats now are showing Watford are slightly goal. in the lead in this second and half. And they have a shot at goal. And, goal. and there's the difference maker. Watford have smashed one home straight past Halstead. Didn't really have a chance for it. Lovely bit of build-up play there. He plays it to the edge of the area. Holden doesn't get a foot around it and is completely at fault. He gets slipped past and the, the player just smashes it straight past. You've got Bates jumping around and jockeying around in the middle of the area. Should have stood there and allowed the ball to hit him really rather than jumping out the way of it. And Halstead tried to dive to get the ball, but he didn't manage to do so. That's his sixth goal in this Championship League so far, is it for Dini? And well, it's Watford one, Hartley Paul nil. Miller here coming on to make a way for no, sorry, Walker making way for Miller, who's coming on now for this second half. Let's see if he can make a change to this game. It has been end-to-end -end stuff. Watford now, though, slightly more ahead. The, uh, the way that they started this the second half has been a more aggressive, more uh, attacking type of football. And Hartlepool now. seem to have been on the back foot for most of this game. Uh, well, for most of this half so far. The first half, it was end-to-end -end stuff. This half, it's more Watford attacking. And as you can see, the stronger team so far is now in the lead with a 1-0 lead over Hartlepool. Yeah, I think so. Referee giving a yellow card there to Nelson Acevedo. Acevedo, sorry, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but he went in late there against Woods and he could have got a red for that tackle from behind. He knows it was a silly tackle to make and he's lucky to be staying on the pitch. Anyway, they're going to make a few substitutions. Emmao going off as well to make way for Jonathan Franks, the usual... Uh, substitution that the manager keeps making god knows why he keeps making it but he does and Watford also making several substitutions at the same time anyway the ball it's played Miller. forward now to Miller Miller turns it to Alessandra Alessandra turns to have a shot at goal gets tackled on the shot and it gets ricocheted right out into the middle of the field again. Miller plays the ball wide to Bates. Bates has pushed up. A lot of the players have all pushed up now. They know that they need to score a goal and get back into this game. They are all pushing forwards. It's Compton with the ball. Plays it through to Lee. Lee turns. The ball, he's got the chance. Bates smashes it and it goes over the top of the bar. Brilliant bit of, uh, bit of defending there by Doyley. He absolutely saved them there. Look, here we go again. Look, he smashes it and the sliding tackle ricochets a ball the over the top and, and foils Bates from scoring his first here. goal yeah. for the and Hartlepool the club. Anyway, Watford making another substitution. We've got 10 minutes of this half left to go. Franks crosses the ball in from the corner. They try to get the head onto it, but it's cleared away by the defender. Straight up to the Watford attacker. He cuts inside. He tries to go round the defender. Doesn't manage to do so. And now they're going on the attack again. He plays it out Been wide and now he's contest. going for a run, Still trying to get out towards that Five wing. Doesn't manage to do so, now. but he's got help That's coming amazing. along with him. The Very Watford attack now, team. all building Pretty up there, keeping fit. hold of the ball in the centre of this field. Galo. Just making sure that they don't allow Hartlepool to get back into control of the Woods. ball so that they can run down and score. Woods though, intercepts a ball, plays a long ball off. forward towards Compton. Compton looks up, he's got people with him, Duckworth now. Plays the ball forward. Oh, it's cleared away by the defender. Doesn't manage to do anything with the ball. And now they're on the attack. Watford now pushing forwards, trying to keep hold of the ball. 90 minutes has been played. You can hear the whistles around the ground. They want this game to finish. That This could be such a really decent win here for Watford if they can get the 1-0 uh, win over Hartlepool. There's five minutes of added time left to be played here. 
but uh, I don't think they're going to be able to get most of that done. There's a lot of substitutions going on in this last couple of minutes. A lot of time wasting. Watford throw the ball in. They're trying to get this other goal, trying to push forward. Lovely tackle by Duckworth there. Stops the ball, knocks it. Is he going to put it forward? He does. He plays it out wide to Compton. This is going to be the last kick of the game. Compton puts a low cross over into the penalty area and it gets cleared by the defender. And there it is. The final whistle has gone. And Watford have done a crushing defeat over Hartlepool. 1-0 here. Not happy at all, the Hartlepool fans. Watford fans, though, going absolutely crazy in the stands. They were so much better in the second half. I think Hartlepool and Watford were both pretty much even in the second half, but then Watford stepped it up a gear. Second half, they, they really did turn it on. And that is where they got the win. It's 1-0. Well, it finished here, 1-0. Let's have another look at the highlights. As you can see, the shots that have been happening from the first half going in. Walker getting clattered there. The first shot was by Alessandra. Here's another Watford strike that they had. And that's the one where the goal went in. Unfortunately, I didn't see that. that the ball did actually take a deflection off Bates into the goal. The keeper probably would have saved it, but where Bates had jockeyed in the middle of the park, it ricocheted past him. So Halstead wasn't at fault for that goal, and nor was Holden, how I'd actually blame them in the game. So I do take that back, and I apologise. But as you can see, Watford won here, 1-0 against Hartlepool. Once again, Hartlepool going to be dropping into the deficit of minus goal difference. Enwell scored a 5.8, which wasn't very good. And, uh, well, that's it, really. Let's English make, let's Champions. carry it on. Backland Here's Rovers, the scores from one, around the ground. Derby Read County, them out, big two. man. Bolton Wanderers, two. Cardiff City, two. Bournemouth, one. Ipswich Town, nil. Charlton Athletic, As you one, can see from Leicester the scores City, that have one. happened today, Blackburn Town, Rovers two. losing, Millwall, Norwich one. City Leeds also United, losing. One. Sheffield and Sheffield Wednesday, Wednesday don't one. play until later on nil. today. Brighton that means Albion, that, uh, well, it, they Norwich haven't City, gone away from nil. us at the top Birmingham of the league. City, the one. only thing is the Reading, other teams of, who were above Lake us Orient, have nil. got the wins as well. Watford, so that's one. really helped them Hartley out United, and uh, kind of Wigan caused Athletic, a, a bit nil. of a gap between Nottingham us Forest, and other one. teams within the league. We'll be able to see that in a second on the league table. Here we go. That loss drops us down one place into 10th place. We've played now 17 games. Games, won seven, drawn seven, uh, table, drawn three, uh, lost seven, goals for ten, third, goals against eleven down, into a minus Black one deficit. We're on twenty-four points. Fourth, a win the, the table, next time could take us up to seventh. Points. We really in could have been doing fourth, with a win there to get up into fifth, but unfortunately points. it in wasn't sixth, to be. We have got quite a bit of work to do now, really, to be able to get up into these playoff positions. I hope that you will come back and join. Join United us for the rest of this points. season. Bottom Thank you very table, much for watching this episode. I hope to see you on the points. next one. And Till then, then take the care. Table, and bye for now. Up the table are Nottingham Forest with 14 points. Third bottom, Lake Orient with 14 points. Fourth bottom, moving down, are Millwall with 15 points. Fifth bottom and falling are Middlesbrough with 17 points. Anyway, a big thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of FIFA 15. Leave a like if you can and comment if you want to. And please click the big subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Add me on all the social media sites. The links are in the descriptions. As is the information if you ever want to play a game with me. Also, come and join in the fun at the live streams that I do. Links are on the screen right now. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching. And until then, bye for now.